Hey guys, it's Miss Johnson here, and I'm here to bring you our notes for Unit 2, Notes 1. This is our first day of Unit 2. Unit 2 is all about systems of equations, and today our learning target is I can solve systems of equations by graphing. So we're going to be graphing systems of equations here. I want to start off with a little bit of a warm-up here, just to kind of get our brain in the mode. Um, take a look at our first example up at the top of the page. I want you to graph those two linear equations on the same coordinate plane. Go ahead and pause your video at this time and see what those two equations look like at the same coordinate plane. All right, so that's what the graph that I have for those two equations looks like. Um, what I notice about those equations are the top one, the one that's in purple here, is a positive sloping line. I know that its slope is 3 and its y-intercept is negative 5, um, so that's what its graph would look like. I notice that the green one is a negative sloping line. It goes down from left to right. Um, the y-intercept, when it was solved for y, I think it's already solved for y on your page, y-intercept was positive 2 and the slope was negative 1 half. So I went down over in one two, oh, down one and over two. Um, the other thing that I see is that these points or these two lines cross at a point right here. Okay, so they have a point of intersection. So just want to keep that in mind. Let's try one more time. Let's look at the next example, example two. If I look at example two, take a minute and graph those two lines on the same coordinate plane. Go ahead and pause your video and do that. So now here's the graph of these two lines once I put them both in slope-intercept form and then put them on the same coordinate plane. I put the top equation in blue and the bottom equation in red, and you can see that my lines ended up being the same thing. They both had a y-intercept of negative 6, and they both had a slope of positive 3. So when I graphed those two lines, they ended up being the same line, just one right on top of the other. Okay. Now, what these two examples are are systems of equations. And what a system of equations is is when we have two or more linear equations that are represented together. So a system is a set of two or more linear equations. The solution, the solution to the system is the point x, y, where the two lines cross, okay? The point where the two lines cross. So that is the system that we would look at. Now, there's three different types of solutions to systems. Um, the first type can draw yourself a rough sketch. Your graph doesn't have to be perfect, but draw yourself just a rough picture in that box there. Um, this is a system that has one solution. It has that point of intersection. The point of intersection is right here where they cross. Okay, So this is a system with one solution. No, we also have a system of equations that has no solutions. And what ends up happening there is that these become parallel lines. Um, parallel lines have the same slope. So if two equations have the same slope, we know that there's not going to be a solution to that system. Okay, um, That might be a note for you to write down as well, is that no solution systems, or parallel lines, I should say, have the same slope. And the last type of solution that we have is infinitely many solutions. And that's what happens when we end up getting coincident lines, or in other words, they end up being the same line. Okay, same slope, same y-intercept. It's kind of like that example two that we just looked, up, up, looked at up at the top. Okay, so three different types. You can have one solution, you can have no solutions, or you can have infinitely many solutions. Now, if I take a look at some steps to graphing these, um, the steps to graphing these are really quite simple. They're all things that you've done before. Um, the first step is you're going to graph the first line. Make sure that you put your line in y-intercept form, slope-intercept form. Sometimes it involves a little bit of conversion if it's not in slope-intercept form, or in other words, get that y by itself. After you put the first line on the coordinate plane, put the second line on the coordinate plane. And same thing, make sure that it is also in slope-intercept form. Okay, get y by itself. So graph the first line, graph the second line. If there were a third or a fourth or a fifth, if we're doing a system with more equations, you would just keep going. Graph the next one, graph the next one. Then what happens after we graph them is we look for that solution. So we want to find the ordered pair where they intersect. We intersect. We want to find that point of intersection. Okay, find where they intersect. But keep in mind, they might not always intersect. If they're parallel lines, then they won't intersect, and there'll be no solution. So this is no intersection. Okay. 
okay? If they are the same line, then there's infinitely many solutions, okay? So the two lines lie right on top of each other. So let's just do one example on the back. And remember that you can pause this video at any point and rewind if things went too fast for you or you need to hear them again, see them again, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to take a look at the back and do one example together with you. I'll do number three. Um, in number three, when up at the top where we have that box that says solving systems by graphing, really it's just as simple as graphing the two lines and finding the point where they cross. That's really all it is. Graph the two lines separate, find the point where they cross. So if I take a look at number three, I've got the equation y is equal to negative x plus eight, and y is equal to four x minus seven is my other one. I'm gonna put this top equation in purple. Now most of you are working with pencils, so you might not always have two separate colors. That's totally fine. You don't need two separate colors. I think it's just helpful to see when I'm doing this for you guys. So I started with a y-intercept of positive eight. My slope was negative one. That's down one and right one, down one over one. There's my line. Okay, then the bottom line, I'll put that one in red. Now I'm starting at a y-intercept of negative seven. And I wanna go up four, up one, up two, up three, up four, and over one. That's my slope there. Up one, two, three, four, over one. Up one, two, three, four, and over one. Here's that line. Hopefully your lines are a little better than mine. When you're doing this on a piece of paper, um, especially with systems where you're trying to find that point of intersection, it might be helpful for you, to, for you to use a straight edge of some sort. If you had a ruler, that's great. Or even just the edge of your binder or you know, another piece of paper, the edge of a folder, something that is kind of sturdier and straight to make help you make those lines. It's really important to have an accurate straight line when you're trying to find that intersection. Because you can even see on mine, the intersection is a little bit off, but we know from counting, we know from counting the points that we ended up at that middle, or that point right there that they both were on that line. So you can see that this point right here in blue that I've circled is on both the purple line and the red line. That's what makes it a solution to the system. So we have to identify that point. That's the actual solving part. It's not enough just to graph them. You have to actually tell me the solution. So the solution here is over three and up five, which means positive three, positive five. Or if I look at my answer, there it is, positive three, positive five. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop our video there today. Don't forget to hop back to Schoology and take that quiz, and we will go ahead and um, finish up our notes tomorrow. Thanks for listening, and have a great night.